Uh, my roommates and I were at the house when it started raining, and we kind of watched the waters come up steadily until they started seeping into the house, at which point we, um, as quickly as possible, kind of got all of our belongings together and carried them upstairs to the second floor. My house took six to seven inches of water, so it's had to be mucked out, the drywall's been removed and so on. So my four kids, my husband, my dog, and I are in temporary housing. Our house was fortunate enough not to have any flooding. Everything remained dry. And as a result, we offered our home, since we were away, to individuals in the community through our church. My aunt, her family got totally flooded. They had four and a half feet of water inside their house, and they have to pretty much redo everything. Um, we spent a lot of time during the Harvey week we had off tearing down drywall, ripping out carpet, ripping out the hardwood. And then spent the rest of the day kind of observing the water and watching it come in and trying to ration our food and prepare some water to have on hand in case we had to stay there for several days. We have one of the only two-story houses on our block, so my husband and I kayaked elderly and um, flooded families into our home. There was a retired um, orthodontist who is 83 years old, who lives near the bayou and has um, has never experienced flooding in the 66 years at his residence, and his house was destroyed. I have 10 teaching assistants this semester, and eight of them came to my house with a number of other Rice students. Additionally, we had many Rice students come into our neighborhood and help other families affected. Every house on my street was flooded, and we had dozens and dozens of Rice students and faculty come to help. Then once the water receded, uh, we were actually able to drive out, so we made our way to campus. And we came here to Martell, where we kind of crashed with friends for about a week, until um, Rice was actually able to relocate us and find us some temporary housing um, a couple of miles off campus. So that's where I am now. I'm really proud of the students that have participated in our hat and other various ways to help their family members and the Rice community. I think there's a lot more to be done. We're still kind of waiting for our actual house to be restored and to be fixed. We're looking at at least a couple of weeks of repairs there before we can move back in, but we're hoping it'll air on the, sh on the side of uh, shorter repairs rather than longer. It'll take at least um, three to four weeks before they can start reconstruction, and I think the actual reconstruction is going to take about two months, and then they're gonna have to, you know, redo their hardwood, redo their carpet, get new furniture, um, redo a lot of their plumbing in some areas. So I'd say about five to six months minimum. And my hope is that, you know, when these tragedies occur, it often brings out the best in people. And it shows a lot of heart and love from not only the Rice community, but those involved in helping others. And it makes you feel better you can help those and I just hope that this effort continues not in the short term but the long term.